Hi there. Welcome back to Data Lab Works channel. Today, we will be unmasking sciencefather.com and its deceptive practices such as fake certification. We will be talking about how they operate, how does the spam email looks like, visiting their site and verify the company status, and so on. Let's get started. In today's digital age, academic recognition and awards hold significant value for scholars and researchers. They signify the acknowledgement of one's dedication to their field and the contributions they make to the academic community. Unfortunately, some unscrupulous entities exploit this desire for recognition, leading scholars into a web of deception. One such entity is sciencefather.com, also known as sifat.com, a website that has been spamming academic scholars with fraudulent awards and exploiting their aspirations. ScienceFather.com presents itself as an academic awarding platform that specializes in recognizing scholars and researchers in various fields, including computer vision. However, beneath this veneer of recognition lies a deceptive and harmful operation. The scam begins with academic scholars receiving unsolicited emails from ScienceFather.com or Sifat.com. These emails inform the recipients that they have been nominated for prestigious academic awards, such as the Best Researcher Award, in categories related to computer vision research or several different areas. Victims are led to believe that their nominations are legitimate when, within just a couple of days, they receive an email from sciencefather.com or sifat.com. This email contains a link to register for event, where victim has to fill in one of his paper abstract or DOI of the paper, then the scammer reply back the victim with a like to download winner's reviews report, which is a Google Scholar profile or an ORCID profile of the victim. This confirmation email which may be appearing convincing, is a crucial part of the deception. After careful looks into the file, it is only a public information, not the actual review, neither report. As we can see here, these certificates, such as this, and this, and this, it is very doubtful to make selection, as the publication list cannot be used to judge for the criteria of the reward or certificate whatever it may be. After confirming their nomination, victims are prompted to pay fees for the award certificates as we can see here in the screen, this is where the deception reaches its peak. These certificates, however official they may seem, carry no genuine academic or professional recognition. They are merely a ploy to extract money from unsuspecting scholars. Well, Let's try to dig deeper into investigating the sciencefather.com on whether they are really belonging to Cefax Information and Analytics Private Limited as claim in the website. Let me open who.is and whois.com to see the domain ownership details and registration details if it is available ever. I will be checking the details of sciencefather.com on who.is and whois.com respectively. There is no significant information on whether the domain belonged to Cefax Information and Analytics Private Limited as claim in the website. The domain age is also too young, and domain validity is also not long. Similarly, when checking the details using whois.com, not much information is available. But we can clearly see that the sciencefather.com domain is registered from Hostinger Service Provider. Eventually, the website is also hosted on Hostinger Server as of today. Similarly, sifat.com is also hosted on Hustinger server, but the domain registrar is different. Here is the name server records, but, all the company details or technical details are hidden. As the information gathered from whois.com, the ownership details of the sciencefather.com and sifat.com are hidden. Let's check the sifat.com domain details from whois once again. The domain registration was done 1 March 13, 2023, and valid till March 13, 2024. It is very doubtful so whether it is really legit website. I have contacted Hostinger Service on abuse report, I wrote the details on how sciencefather.com conduct fraudulent activities. They replied me to send them more proof, after sending them, they replied me that they are suspending the domain register account along with the hosting service. But I actually see no suspension. The I contacted them once again. This time, they replied me that the sciencefather.com provide the proof of activities and therefore they cannot suspend the domain or hosting. After showing them how they actually they conduct fraudulent, the hosting provider still could not figure out whether they are fraudulent. 
This proof that there is very limited support from hosting service provider and domain registrar to fight abuser for the victim. You know, people pay for domain registration fee, and hosting service fee. Well, it is not a big surprise anyway. To take to law enforcers such as local court for filing case, victims will again need to pay fee, whereas the victim may already lost money. Let's dive deep once again. We shall check the web contents of sciencefather.com and sifat.com. We can see that sifat.com contains information about sciencefather.com. This proof that the sciencefather.com and the sifat.com are operated by the same person for the same motive. Other information such as phone number are also visible. Claim of government registration are highlighted, but without the registration details, which raise another question. From here, we can say that, if that is so legitimate award, why can't they display all the registration details, so that one can cross-check with tax filing, etc. Now let's try to check the company details, which they claim to be, whether the director are still active, and the company status is still active. Let's get the details, if it is available in the payment methods page, the hyperlink can be found at the bottom of sciencefather.com. The company name is claimed to be Cefax Information and Analytics Private Limited. I shall copy the complete name. We can look up the name from ZaubaCorp.com. To do this, I need to navigate to MCA Services in the menu, then, Master Data, then, View Company Data. We found the similar name are ZaubaCorp.com. We click on Search to look up available information about the company. When I scroll down just below, I can find the company's details. And I search for the CIN. Here it is. And copy the CIN, and check the details from mca.gov.in. Pasting the CIN in the CIN text box, then, I need to enter the to challenge text to prove that I am a human. Once those are done, we can click on Submit button. Boom! We got the signatory's details. In fact, these people are responsible for the company. Oh! One of the director's DSC has expired. The DSC is crucial for director KYC to validate the director every year. So, another question. Let's see the company details from the master data once again. Boom! We got all the company details available at the MCA portal. The director identification number are also visible. All the details such as paid up capital, date of incorporation, address, contact details, status are visible. Here, we can see that with the same director's details, another company is registered, which really is looking identical. Another question again. But we need to note that the older company name has been used on sciencefather.com. We can clearly say that, the sciencefather.com is making some suspicious activity, while there are no actual conference events, and no actual nomination taken for the award. The Cefax company registration informations are just a lame excuse given by the scammer, as there are no details information available on the website, and it is very common that scammer use fake identity, or fake company profile. The YouTube videos for sciencefather.com are also fake. Some victims are asked to record presentation video, which is then uploaded to the YouTube channel. Most of the video's voice are AI-generated voice to make the sciencefather.com and the award look attractive. The main motive of sciencefather.com is to lure money from the victim, in the name of certificate and recognition reward. The law enforcer are also sometimes clueless, as these kind of scammers are expert to fool us around. They usually have something to hide themselves from punishment. Even with full evidences, the hosting service provider are not able to shut down the website, as I mentioned earlier in this video. We can only make ourselves stay away from this kind of scam, and to spread awareness about the scam as much as possible. We cannot wait anyone to take further action. Academic recognition and awards are a testament to scholars' hard work, and dedication to their respective fields. It is disheartening to see unscrupulous entities like sciencefather.com exploiting the aspirations of academics for their financial gain. Awareness, vigilance, and reporting are our strongest tools against such deceptive practices. Let us stand together as a community to protect the integrity of academic recognition and honor the genuine achievements of scholars and researchers. Today, 
I would like to request you to kindly share this information to your friends, and in your networking groups, as much as possible. This is the only way we fight against the scammer effectively and smoothly, without wasting time, without wasting money. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate your support by subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell, so you'll be the first to know when I release informative content like this in the future.